Hi everyone, and welcome to Financial Mag. All right, so you've got $100. What are you going to do with it? Blow it on a fancy dinner that'll be Instagrammed and forgotten by tomorrow? Maybe splurge on yet another subscription service you'll forget to cancel? Or, brace yourself, you could take that same $100 and plant the seed for your financial empire. Sounds dramatic? Maybe. But, I'm here to show you it's not. In this video, I'm breaking down exactly how to start investing with just $100. No trust fund required, no secret millionaire uncle needed. We're talking real, simple, beginner-friendly moves. So, if you've ever thought investing is only for Wall Street bros in fancy suits, or people who can casually drop a grand, stick around, because this $100 could be the most important Benjamin Franklin you've ever met, and no, he's not just the guy on your $100 bill. Let's bust some myths, shall we? First up, the idea that you can't do anything meaningful with $100. Oh, really? Tell that to anyone who started their fitness journey by walking one block a day or built a side hustle selling handmade keychains. Everything meaningful starts small. $100 isn't the end game. It's the beginning. Think of it like planting a seed, not eating the fruit salad. Here's a fun fact for you. If you invest $100 at an 8% annual return in 40 years, it could grow to over $10,000. And before you roll your eyes and say, but I don't have 40 years, well, guess what? You've got the rest of your life, so why not make it count? The magic of compounding turns your little acorns into mighty oak trees. And trust me, you don't have to water it every day. You just let time and interest do their thing, like baking cookies without having to peek every five minutes. Now let's tackle the big myth that investing is only for the rich or the financial geniuses. Investing today has been democratized. It's no longer the exclusive playground of the suit-wearing Wall Street types who use phrases like bull market and buy low, sell high over overpriced lattes. Take apps like Robinhood or Acorns, for example. These platforms let you start with as little as $1. $1. That's literally less than what it costs to supersize your fries. And guess what? They're designed for beginners like you and me, not the Warren Buffetts of the world. You don't need to know what the S&P 500 stands for. But if you're curious, it's basically a scoreboard for the stock market. And spoiler alert, it's usually winning. Here's the deal. Being rich doesn't qualify you for investing. Starting does. If you've got $100 and a little determination, you're already ahead of the game. Because let me tell you a secret. Every millionaire investor you've ever heard of, they didn't start with millions. They started exactly where you are, with a small amount, a big dream, and just enough guts to take the first step. So, no more, I'm too broke to invest excuses, okay? Your $100 is more than enough to get started. And who knows? One day, you might look back at that first $100 and laugh at how it turned into your financial empire. Stay tuned because we're just getting started. All right, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get practical. You've got your $100 and you're ready to put it to work. But how? Don't worry, I'm about to walk you through a simple step-by-step -step guide to get started, even if you've never invested a penny before. All right, so you've got your $100. It's not enough to buy an island or launch a space rocket. But trust me, it's more than enough to get started with investing. Let's break this down into bite-sized steps. Step 1. Pick the right platform. Think beginner-friendly platforms like Acorns, Robinhood, or M1 Finance. These are designed for regular folks who aren't financial wizards. Setting them up takes about as much time as it takes to make your morning coffee. In fact, with apps like these, you could be investing by the time that coffee is brewed. They've stripped out all the confusing jargon and left you with the basics. Click, invest, done. Step 2. Choose your investment type. Now that you've picked your platform, you're probably wondering, what can I realistically invest in with just $100? Good news, you've got options. First up, ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. Think of ETFs like a buffet. 
Your hundred dollars gets you a little taste of everything, from tech to healthcare to whatever Elon Musk is up to these days. Then there are index funds. These are like the steady, reliable friend who never lets you down. They track the market and have low fees, which means more money stays in your pocket. And let's not forget fractional shares. Fancy term? Simple concept. You can buy a slice of big-name companies like Tesla or Apple, even if their full stock price is more than your monthly rent. Bottom line? Whether you're looking for variety, stability, or a piece of the big leagues, there's something for everyone, even if your budget is smaller than your grocery bill. Step 3. Start small and build consistency. Here's the million-dollar question. Is this even worth it? Short answer, absolutely. Long answer, let me do the math for you. If you invest $100 every month for 30 years and earn an average return of 8%, you'd have over $140,000. That's not monopoly money. That's real, life-changing cash. And the best part? You don't need to be perfect to get there. Consistency beats perfection every time. So, take that $100, pick your platform, choose your investment, and start building. It's not just about growing your money, it's about growing your confidence as an investor. Now that you've got the steps laid out, I can already hear the little voice in your head asking, but what about the risks? What if I mess this up? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's tackle those so you can invest with confidence. Let's tackle the elephant in the room, those nagging worries that keep you from diving into investing. Whether it's the fear of losing money, feeling like you need a PhD in finance, or not trusting those apps, I've got you covered. Fear of losing money. Investing? No thanks, I might as well just set my $100 on fire. Sound familiar? Relax. It's not that dramatic. The key to minimizing risk is investing in safe, diversified options like ETFs, exchange-traded funds, or index funds. They spread your money across a variety of stocks, like putting your eggs in multiple baskets rather than balancing them all on one wobbly shelf. Here's a fun fact to calm your nerves. The S&P 500, basically a list of 500 of the biggest companies in the U.S., has historically averaged 8 to 10% growth per year. That's right. Even with all the market ups and downs, the trend is upward. So unless the world decides to stop needing companies like Apple, Amazon, and Google, spoiler, it won't, your investments are in pretty safe hands. Let's be honest. At first, investing can feel like learning a foreign language where every other word is dividends or portfolio. But here's the good news. You don't need to know everything to get started. Remember those apps we mentioned earlier like Acorns, Robinhood, and M1 Finance? They do most of the heavy lifting for you. Think of them like autopilot on a plane. You don't need to understand all the buttons and dials. You just need to sit back and trust that the system knows where it's going. You don't need to be Warren Buffett sipping Coca-Cola while reading annual reports. You just need to take the first step. Trust in platforms or tools. Okay, but can I really trust these apps with my hard-earned cash? Fair question. The internet isn't exactly a stranger to shady stuff, but when it comes to investing platforms, the reputable ones have millions of users who've already paved the way for you. For example, platforms like Robinhood and Acorns are built specifically for beginners. They've got user-friendly designs, tons of resources, and security measures that keep your money safe. Don't believe me? Just look at the millions of success stories from people who started small and grew their investments over time. If you're still skeptical, think of it like this. You trust apps with your food delivery, your ride share, and even your online dating. If you're willing to trust an algorithm to find you the love of your life, trusting it with your $100 isn't such a stretch, right? Feeling better about the risks now? Good, because here's the thing. Waiting to start is the real risk. The longer you put it off, the more you're missing out on potential growth. Let me show you why today is the perfect day to take action. All right, let's cut to the chase. When it comes to investing, delaying is your worst enemy. Think about it. Every day you wait is another day your $100 is sitting there doing absolutely nothing. It's like having a perfectly good car parked in the driveway while you keep walking everywhere. Let's change that, shall we? 
As they say, the best day to start was yesterday, the second best day is today. Translation, stop waiting for the perfect moment, it doesn't exist. Here's the thing, every single day your $100 just sits in your checking account, it's losing out on potential growth. That's right, it could be out there hustling, earning interest, growing into something more impressive. Instead, it's chilling in your bank app, making your balance look pretty but doing absolutely no heavy lifting for your future. Now I get it. 100 might feel insignificant. But here's the secret. It's not the size of the investment that matters. It's the habit. Small, consistent actions are what make big things happen. Think of it like planting a seed. Sure, it starts tiny, but with care, time, and consistency, it grows into a towering tree. And momentum is everything. Once you take that first step, you'll feel the thrill of progress. Suddenly, $100 won't feel like a lot because you'll be thinking about how to grow it into $1,000, $10,000, or more. It's not about where you start. It's about the journey you're committing to. So let's stop letting your money snooze and put it to work. Because small steps today lead to big results tomorrow. Your future self is already out there thanking you for taking action. Don't let them down. So now you know why starting today is so important. The question is, will you take that first step? I've got one simple challenge for you, plus a sneak peek at what's coming next that will help you turn your small investment into a wealth-building powerhouse. So you've mastered investing with just $100. Nice flex. But why stop there? In my next video, Earn Passive Income in 30 Days, a quick start guide, I'll show you how to make your money do the heavy lifting while you kick back. Trust me, your wallet will thank you. Don't miss it. Your future self is already watching. Thank for watching. See you soon.